Okay, today I'm up at the hay field. Uh, this is a gentleman's place that I call Mr. Ford. Uh, that's not his real name. It's because he has a whole bunch of old Ford rigs, old pickups, cars. Uh, he spent a lifetime collecting some really, really cool automobiles. And so what we're doing today, I'm just walking the sprinkler lines here. And I have a bucket of equipment with me for fixing broken sprinklers. What happens is the cows get in here and I, uh, and they break the sprinklers off. Also the deer do the same thing. So it's my job to go through and uh, fix them as I come into them. The gentleman that I work for, he, he's been doing this so long, he can look out over all of this and he can just be like, well, there's one missing there, there's one missing there, there's two up there, way on the other end. And uh, I'm not that good at it. Give me a couple of seasons and I, I'll get better. So what I'm doing is I'm walking each line, basically each row, finding the broken sprinklers and then fixing them. It's really cool. It's a very good job. I enjoy this a lot. It gets me out into the wide open spaces too. Oh, there's one over on that other row. See over here? Okay, nice. Looks like a cow stepped on this one and took the top off of it too. All right. So all I do basically, in my bucket, I have a saw. A box of couplers. And uh, so the, both ends of the pipe just slide into here, right? This is primer. So that goes on first. It helps the glue hold onto the pipe, basically. And then this is my glue. Some odds and ends stuff down in here, you know implements of construction so I'll cut this off flat flush right and then I'll have to cut this coupler off here and then this will slide back into the new coupling that goes on here haha -ha. Okay, I can probably use less glue on the next one. That's kind of sloppy. I'm the kind of guy though that I need practice. Uh, so I'm gonna start trying to move a little bit faster. Not so much doing the sprinkler because I don't wanna mess anything up, uh, but getting to the sprinkler. So we're on to the next one. Fun, isn't it?
past the end of this row. So let's start walking back up the next row here. Just want to look at this one, make sure it's not broken off right under there. Okay, nope, that's just on lean, so that's fine. All right, two down, a zillion more to go. That's weird. It's gotta be here. Okay, it has to be an equal distance between the two. And this end is laying here. So it has to be in here somewhere. I'll find it. I don't have time to record. I need to be working. Okay. I'll fix this. Hope y'all guys are having fun. I am. It's a treasure hunt. Okay. What I do when I run into a problem or something I don't know what I'm doing or what to do about it, I, I try and figure out the most logical solution. Then I give the situation a certain amount of time for me to solve the problem using that solution. Then I figure out how to mark the problem, move on doing the rest of the job so that this doesn't keep me here for a long time. What I've done is I scrape back the dirt all the way around the spot where the sprinkler was, uh, hoping to run into it under here, right? This stick and our stick was here when I arrived, kind of as a marker. So what I'm assuming is that the sprinkler broke off under the dirt somewhere and somebody marked this spot to know where it is. I wrote down directions of where I am row four about midway up and down right so now what i'm going to do is carry on with the job and then i i'll be able to come back here after i'm done with everything else and finish this part of it maybe even ask for help if i need it uh and further instructions okay i like to while i'm working i try and move fast or fast and accurate not so fast that i uh, 
that something can be messed up, forgotten, missed, and yet not slow because I'm on the clock and I'm working. Okay, on to the next one. You know, it's neat. I like to find inspiration in about everything and think about how things in the tangible world are a lot like the things in the mental world, our brains and thoughts, right? So I was sitting here trying to cut this off and it was rather difficult. I even dug a little uh, trench for my hand so that the saw can go back and forth. Still, I found myself getting bound up on it, and it was really difficult to cut through. I couldn't find the right way to hold the saw, the right way to hold the pipe. I, the whole thing was really challenging until I went over here and changed sides on the hole where everything fit right. I was still using the same hands for the same job, and yet now with the change of direction and perspective, I'm able to do it with really a lot of ease and hardly any difficult. Isn't that cool? <laughs>